For 80 years, innovation at Le Mans hasn't been in the field of performance alone. Concerning the new regulations, the aim of the research carried out by the manufacturers in collaboration with the ACO and the federations is to make the cars in the 24 hours even more solid and safer. Bernard Niclot, tell us about the safety standards brought in by the new 2014 regulations. For safety reasons, all the LMP1s are closed cars. Crash tests have been made more stringent with a rear crash test. The driver's position in the car has been improved. This also helps his view, which was one of the problems we had. We beefed up the protection around the cockpit with Xylon panels, a light, extremely strong anti-penetration, anti-intrusion material, which provide better protection in the case of impacts. We've also brought in wheel tethers. These are cables that prevent the wheels from flying off in the case of an accident. Safety. The drivers are the first in the firing line. How did they react to these new measures? Were they asked? The drivers, the manufacturers and the people who make the regulations all discuss them to try and improve things. We're involved in a dangerous sport. It's vital to reduce risks to a minimum, even though danger will always be part of the job. It's obvious that when you're in a safer environment, in safer cars, you enjoy it more, as there isn't that sense of fear which could make you feel uncomfortable. When you look at the new regulations, on paper anyway, the cars are safer. Is this going to make the drivers push even harder? When you're sitting in the car, apart from the fact that you see better, you don't really feel the difference. It's true that when you go into the safety details, the monocoque is stronger. There's good lateral protection and the roof and doors must cope with greater pressures. But when you're racing, you don't feel that. You don't think about it. No, no, we don't. So I don't reckon it's going to make us take more risks. Now that we can see better, we can take better calculated risks when overtaking. The drivers, they're not crazy. I think they're aware of safety. They're attentive to what these new measures mean. I think the ACO and the FIA have done a good job. When the guys get together, they manage to change things by exchanging their viewpoints. I think it's a good thing. It's welcomed in any case. What are all these yellow lights? Well, they're all the marshal's emergency posts that look after safety on the track. They're around 30 to 40 per post, and each post looks after one section. And almost 1,600 marshals look after the track safety. Pierre, slow zones will be installed for the 24 hours. What are they? Well, Fred, it's simple. In the case of an accident, repairs to a guardrail or the evacuation of a crash car, a section of the circuit will be neutralized. In these slow zones, the drivers must respect a 60 km an hour speed limit to protect the track marshals. With this safety measure, the safety cars needn't be deployed systematically. And the race goes on on the rest of the circuit. Well, now that we know more about safety, let's have a look at the aerodynamics. Let's go and see what's happening at Audi. Whoa.